What if I told you, you could get the look of a big Hollywood film and get Final Cut Pro to actually do it for you? That sounds like a dream, right? Well, buckle up, we're headed to Hollywood land. Now, before I reveal this secret, it's important that you get your footage to a good base correction like I've done here with Final Cut Pro's color tools. The films that we're gonna match the look of are from Moonlight, No Country for Old Men, and finally, this amazing sunset from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Now, a key component in making all of this work is choosing a scene with a similar context in terms of lighting and art direction. Here I have three shots a couple on vacation in the middle of the desert, a gal meditating in front of a beautiful sunset, and a guy standing in the middle of a dark warehouse. As you can see, these look similar in context to our reference frames. So after importing these Hollywood frames into Final Cut, I'll position them right next to my shots. Let's first try with the guy in the warehouse. Here at the left side, there is a magic wand icon which gives us access to the color correction and audio enhancement options. From the drop down menu, choose Match Color. The Match Color effect gets added to the Clips Inspector but on top of the Effects stack. For this to work, make sure to move the effect to the bottom of the stack. That way, the Match Color effect gets applied over top of our base correction. Then hit Choose to pick the source or reference image. With the Video Skimming option enabled, position the cursor over the reference image from Moonlight and click and automatically the color palette with its greenish tint and even the contrast from the reference gets applied to our clip. Then hit apply match. Let's see the before and after. That's amazing, right? Although these images have some similarities, i.e. one has a bright background, the other a dark one, they now share the same color palette and contrast. With this, we went from dull to cinematic in only seconds. Next, let's try the couple in the desert. We'll follow the same procedure, adding the match color effect, positioning it at the bottom of the stack, and choosing the reference image from No Country for Old Men. Right away, it adds the same color palette as the reference still. You can see the same yellowish tint in the clothing, but the sky is off a bit. Well, why is that? Well, our shot has a blue sky and Final Cut is probably looking at the blue jeans in our reference shot. So based on that, it's deciding to keep the blue. But I think we can do better. So we'll add a new instance of the color wheels effect on top of the match color. Use color and shape masks to isolate the sky and modify its saturation, color and exposure. Now, although it's not a plain vanilla white sky like the reference, it does feel closer in terms of the look. Let's see the before and after. Looks high end. In our third example, we have a gal meditating in front of a sunset. Let's match this with Star Wars, so I'll repeat the same steps. The match is not that perfect. It's making our image too yellowish. Because our image is brighter than the reference, Final Cut is probably trying to add the brighter parts of the reference to our image, but we want it to have more of that beautiful orange light. Not to worry, we'll add a color wheels effect and position it right above the match color and use the tint slider to add the red that will turn all those yellow tones into orange. Let's see the before and after. Amazing that you can do all of this just inside of Final Cut. Now, you may be asking yourself, what good is all this if my shots aren't similar enough to the context of the film that we're using as a reference? It's a fair question, but you see, once you follow this procedure, you can actually save the match color effect containing the look as a preset and then apply it to a totally different scene. For example, I'll apply the look we created based on Moonlight to this exterior scene where two cops are about to face off with a criminal. And boom, look at the before and after. Now let's try the look from No Country for Old Men. And it fits perfectly. Now, to tell you the truth, we're really just tricking Final Cut to work in our favor, but the rest of the color tools can be intimidating. 
They're based on color wheels and curves, designs that go back 20 years, and there's not really a proper grading workflow inside of Final Cut. There has to be an easier modern way that's less confusing, something that makes getting a professional look in seconds without muddy looking video. That's why we created Cinema Grade as a straightforward way that guides you every step of the way through the whole grading process of fixing shots, matching them together, and applying a final look to groups of clips in a batch way, saving you countless hours. It's easy and intuitive without a steep learning curve, and it lets you do point and click grading in the viewer in Final Cut Pro. If this is something that you might be into and you'd like to give it a try, just click the link below in the description, and if you decide to purchase, you can get 20% off at checkout using YouTube special code, YouTube20. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified of our next one. I'll see you in the next video. Let's make cinema quality video.